Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mailfront Tutorial. This is Kumar. Today in this video, I would like to discuss about the catalog proc, which is one of the important topic in the JCL. In my last video, I was discussing about the in-stream proc. So in this video, I would like to share with you all something about the catalog proc. So as we all know the proc is divided into in-stream proc and uh, catalog proc and in-stream proc which uh, which is part of the existing job which which is that is specific to a job whereas catalog proc it is it is coded in a common area where multiple jobs can access it okay let's look into the more details catalog proc it is defined outside of jcl program in a pds member with proc apparent and no pen statement please make a note of this so catalog proc can be executed in any jcl program across applications one of them example are like compiling a process or sorting a data I have a sort card instead of coding this sort card multiple times what I can do is I can cr I will store I will make this as a proc and store it in a common area and call those procs multiple times whenever it is required not only the sorting of the data or uh, th there might be a certain uh, certain a certain programs which is used for creating a report or uh, which is used for billing purpose so just we need to change the data set names or certain values so we can access those procs so we can uh, where there is a reusability if you think that this can be reused so you make it as a proc and stand it store it store it in a common proc directory so compiling processes common to everything so it is stored in a common standard library so any number of catalog procs can be defined so one of the I want to talk about the important points uh, of the catalog proc so similar to job leave and step loop proc leave must be coded within a JCL program immediate after job point number one and stream proc procedure is available only for the job in which it is declared for using in another jobs global decoration we use catalog procedures catalog procedure is created in a separate member with the proc operand and no pen stand catalog procedure can be executed from any job across application you have defined a proc you have a member in that proc if you want to use that use that member you can use it across from any JCL to locate catalog procedure properly system defined ED name must be specified immediate after job so only one proc lib is coded from one job yes that the, you cannot code multiple proc libraries same as like step lib so you can not same as step lib so proc lib is a common uh, proc lib is coded for one job catalog procedure can be changed by using symbolic parameters symbolic parameter it is a user defined name prefixing with single parameter. so example of uh, creating a proc so I have a PDS member which is tso.develop.dev.proclip my proc name is proc1 so this is my job card and this is my proc so I will give my proc as proc1 procedure reusable component and in this proc I am defining a two steps one step is program which creates a, uh, a report which, which, which needs input and output in the same way the second step is to copy a data from one data set to another data set which is a, the, the second step so now we will be or this can be a sorting of a data so here I can I need to write a sort card sort card okay which copies the data or something else so calling a proc uh, from other JCLs job so I have a proc now I need to call this proc from another JCL so same way you you need to have your job card then then proclip 
then you are calling a proc that's it you have defined a proc above and now you are calling a proc just you give the proc name that's it the main important thing is you need to have a proc library defined here as I said you cannot have multiple proc libraries defined so how to update the DSN name in the existing proc suppose for example I have uh, I want to change this input file name in the step one inside the proc name how do I change it so in order to change so first step will be you as usual the job card and the proc name and the activity name so in this in this proc what is the first step and what is the second step and the step name to this DD I want to use my test data and in the step 2 to this particular DD name I want to use my test data file so this is the way to overwrite the existing data set names or replace the existing data set names so here I am re replacing step 002.l1 input 2 uh, to data file okay so and is, this is the way we overwrite the data set this this is very 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 important in real time applications when you work on this we usually use this so we have a set of uh, procs defined or uh, we wanted to copy a data from one data set so there might be an uh, uh, we have different regions we have a test region we have a QA, QA region and you have a production region for example uh, I mean the procs will be a uh, common so I have defined a common proc for same all the entire different regions but the data set names will be changing the QA has his own QA standard data names and the data test has the same test standard data names and the production has the production standard data names so what I want to do is if I want to copy a production data data names so I can give the production data name if I want to copy if I want to use the if I want to use the test data names I can use the test data name if I want to use the prod data name I can give prod if I want to use QA data name you can give QA data search so this is the very very important I say not only this we can do very various, various operation and send this so that was about the catalog proc I hope you have uh, understood about the difference between uh, in stream and the catalog proc let's see more in in details about the differences between in stream and catalog proc uh, the differences like in stream catalog in stream it is defined within a jcl program whereas catalog it is defined outside of a jcl program so it is executed within a jcl program executed outside of the jcl program no proc lib is required to locate procedure why because we are coding this proc uh, proc inside the jcl so proc lib is required to locate the proc pen statement is required to terminate proc no pen statement is required maximum 15 in stream procedures can be defined whereas in catalog unlimited procedures can be defined so these are the differences between in stream and catalog procedures and this is also very important uh, for an interview point of view they might ask what is the difference between stream and catalog procs and uh, what are the maximum in stream uh, in stream we can code or do you use in stream procedure or a catalog procedure obviously you can say that I use uh, mostly a catalog procedures why because in real time we mostly use the catalog procedures I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you might have get some information about this procs so thank you for watching this video if you if you like this video please feel free to subscribe like or share this video thank you for watching have a great and wonderful day